Grab reporting revenue for the second quarter. It beat some of the average analyst estimates and on track for that profitability despite its growing ecosystem. I spoke earlier with the CFO to discuss the results. We fashion, I think we had a very strong second quarter results, as you as you mentioned, our revenue grows 79%. Mm -hmm. uh, our GMV also continues to grow. We grew at 30% at 30 year over year. Uh, and we also continue to show very strong traction in terms of path to profitability. In terms of where we're seeing demand, we haven't seen any pullback in terms of demands in this part of the world in Southeast Asia. Uh, our mobility business continues to grow very strong as the economy has been reopening. Uh, actually, we're seeing very strong in organic demand there, organic mm -hmm. demand. Our deliveries also continues to be robust. Now, obviously, as consumers are dining out more, as economies are reopening, we expect that, and that's normal, consumer behavior. Uh, and also, we've seen some foreign exchange headwinds in this side of the world also with the U.S. dollar strengthening. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, we feel very bullish about our deliveries business and also our mobility business as well as our financial services business. You mentioned path to profitability. How do you balance that path versus investing to gain market share? Yes, uh, actually our market shares, we're continuing to taper our incentive spend down. We continue to right size our business. We, our market share continues to be very strong in all countries and across all our core segments of our business. Uh, and as we continue to balance that growth and profitability, we're balancing in, a, in the right way. One is that we want to grow sustainably also at the same time. We're focusing on the right, targeting the right consumer segment on our business. But also at the same time, we're continuing to improve our unit economics of our business. Our mobility margin now is at its steady state of 12%. It's a lot sooner than we had expected. Uh, and also our deliveries business continues to improve on our margin side also. So we've got all the building blocks in terms of getting our profitability accelerated to break even on our core business segments. Actually, we've actually in our guidance uh, today, we pull forward our deliveries path to profitability by two quarters. Do you see delivery or mobility a bigger tailwind into the rest of the year? Sure, M mobility for sure. The economy is just reopened in Southeast Asia. Tourism is starting to come back and in good volumes across all the different countries. The quarantines has been lifted. We've got strong demand. People are going back to work. People are going back to school uh, in person now. So there's some good momentum. There's a lot of headroom for growth in our mobility. We're only at roughly 65, 67% pre-COVID levels when it comes to mobility. On the deliveries front also, we've been investing a lot on grocery delivery also in that specific sector. And we saw 200%, close to 200% growth year over year yeah. on the non-food delivery side. So as the food delivery, as you would naturally see as the consumer behaviors changes, we would see offset by a stronger growth in our grocery delivery. And we're seeing that playing out in this quarter. When you think globally or regionally, where is competition for you the strongest? Sure, we've always been in this part of the world in a very competitive uh, region here, tension. Uh, and, and, it, and we're actually, uh, uh, we've done extremely well uh, in terms of you look at our market share, if you look at our also just the way we've been hanging on as the leader uh, in this part of the world. So we we're, we don't take that for granted. You know, it's something that we're continuing to maintain. But at the same time also, we're balancing that also in the unit economics of our business. So in all countries, we're focusing on market leadership and also making sure that we're giving the best consumer experience and also driving unit economics of our business to get that profitability much faster.